the the faces of of the tough here. Not all natural materials are innocent. Just because you find something in or on the ground doesn't mean you should touch it. Sure, curiosity gets the better of us occasionally, but consider this your warning. The side. Whereas in the front of it. You're about to learn why you should keep your hands to yourself. From a toxic mineral that took out Mozart to a hazardous substance that has claimed thousands of lives, here are 20 most dangerous minerals in the world. Number 20. Cinnabar Cinnabar looks like a nice cut of beef. Anyone who has handled it likely wishes it was. Instead, cinnabar is a toxic mercury sulfide mineral. This is why you should never touch this stone. It can cause respiratory failure and even death. Because of its coloring, it was long used for its pigment and was even carved into jewelry. This was, of course, before people knew it was toxic. It stopped being as popular when we found that out. This hydrothermal mineral forms at shallow depths in areas with recent volcanic activity. It's also been known to form near hot springs. The reason it's considered toxic is to do with mercury. Surprisingly, cinnabar is a mineral ore of mercury. As such, people are advised to treat it as if it's toxic. Most people in ownership of cinnabar are encouraged to store it with a label, warning unknowing people. After all, it's hard for a red rock not to catch your eye. The good news is that as long as the cinnabar isn't heated, the mercury is locked within it. Cinnabar is therefore low in toxicity when you don't decide to heat it up. Why you would anyway is beyond me. Number 19. Arsenopyrite Arsenopyrite is a very attractive mineral that your eye is immediately drawn to. But pay attention to this mineral's name. It starts with arson. Does that give you a hint? Arsenopyrite is an iron arsenic sulfide. When you heat it up, it produces sulfur and arsenic vapor. As it contains arsenic, arsenopyrite is considered a toxic metal. After all, arsenic has been used in many dangerous products, like pesticides, incesticides, herbicides, and even chemical weapons. You can be in danger if you inhale arsenopyrite dust, and the fumes produced from heating this mineral are toxic. Basically, you should avoid any situations involving this mineral if it will result in dust and fumes. We get it. Staying away from this attractive mineral is hard. It's metallic, steel gray, and opaque. It's also beautiful with its rough, columnar exterior. You just want to touch it. It also doesn't help that it can be quite exciting when you find it. Not only does it release a garlic-like odor when struck, but it often indicates the presence of vast amounts of gold. You find arsenopyrite and you might just strike it rich. You can typically find it in high temperature hydrothermal veins. Despite its dangers, it is desirable. Arsenopyrite is the primary ore of arsenic metal. It's used in vast amounts of alloys and was once used to harden lead in ammunition. The arsenic compounds are also used for paint pigments, medicines, coloring glass, and even the colors within fireworks. Number 18. Chalconthite If you happen to live in an arid region near some dry caves, you might come across chalconthite. This blue-green water-soluble sulfate mineral is mainly found in Morocco but has also been discovered in the United States, Chile, Spain, Germany, Ireland, and England. Despite naturally forming in many countries, it's still quite a rare mineral to encounter. Most chalconthite products on the market are manufactured synthetically. As beautiful as this mineral is, it's worth giving it a wide berth. At the very least, wash your hands after handling it. Chalconthite is a copper sulfate solution. 
This means that it's poisonous and must be handled with care. Don't taste it no matter how intrusive your thoughts are, and always scrub your hands well after poking and prodding it. If you do taste it, you're at risk of copper poisoning. This can come with some pretty uncomfortable side effects like vomiting blood, low blood pressure, tarry feces, jaundice, and coma. Long-term exposure can also result in kidney and liver damage. So why do people even want to own this mineral if it can cause them harm? Well, crystals have different meanings to different people. Many people believe that chalcanthite can calm your mind, raise your vibrations, and help you reach higher spiritual levels. Some people even think that it helps them receive messages from other realms. Number 17. Rebekite Rebekite, also known as crocidolite, is a dark blue type of silicate mineral with fibrous or elongated fibers. It's mostly present in banded iron formations as the asbestiform type of blue asbestos. Now, you don't have to be an expert to know that asbestos equals bad, so rebekite also equals bad. The fibrous form of this mineral is one of the six recognized forms of asbestos. It's also believed to be the most hazardous. This innocent-looking material has been associated with a fatal illness called mesothelioma since 1960. Mesothelioma is a form of cancer that develops on the lining of your internal organs. Most commonly, it affects the chest wall and lungs. It can come with some pretty uncomfortable side effects, like shortness of breath, chest pain, fatigue, weight loss, and a cough. The problem is that you don't know you've been affected by the fibers of rebekite for decades. It can take a long time for those fibers to result in cancer cells. However, it is a all the same. Once diagnosed with mesothelioma, most people have less than five years to live. Tens of thousands of people from this disease every year. Knowing this now, it's hard to believe just how commonly rebekite was used in everyday products. It was mined in many countries like South Africa, Australia, and Bolivia, and was even used in the cigarette filters of 13 billion Kent Micronite cigarettes. Number 16. Stibnite Get ready for a wild ride. Stibnite just looks like an innocent and striking looking mineral, but it is anything but. It's actually a toxic antimony sulfide mineral and a source of metalloid antimony. And it's this antimony that's the real problem. It's toxic when ingested, yet it was used for thousands of years in paste form for darkening eyebrows and lashes. It was even used to make eating utensils. No wonder people were from antimony ingestion. But we didn't know. Well, not all of us knew. <laughs> Victorian doctors knew how toxic it was and kept that secret to themselves. Historical sources say that some Victorian doctors gave it to relatives, girlfriends, and wives they wanted to get rid of. There are records of multiple men being executed for these crimes. There are also rumors about Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart being a victim of antimony poisoning. In the 1984 film Amadeus, it was thought that his rival, composer Antonio Salieri, poisoned him. However, the more likely theory is that his doctors did. Mozart was a heavy drinker and wasn't all that fond of hangovers. Doctors used to give him a hangover cure consisting of antimony and tartar emetic. We don't know where the word antimony comes from, but one possibility is that it comes from the 15th century word antimony, just spelled differently. This means monk. Many alchemists that worked with Stibnite were monks, so that would make sense. Number 15. Hutchinsonite Hutchinsonite is a rare mineral named after a former professor of mineralogy, Arthur Hutchinson. While rare, you can find this brittle mineral in hydrothermal locations in China, Japan, Germany, Switzerland, and Peru. It's pretty obvious that you've stumbled across Hutchinsonite when you do find it, because it features vibrant shades of scarlet to vermilion right through to deep cherry red. But don't let its beauty fool you. It is a sulfosalt mineral of thallium, arsenic, and lead. 
That's why mineral experts say to handle hutchinsonite with care. Thallium and its compounds are extremely toxic, and there have been countless cases of fatal poisoning. Contact with the skin is dangerous, and you need plenty of ventilation when melting this metal. Chronic high-level exposure can result in nervous system effects like toe and finger numbness. It can also cause hair loss, painful peripheral neuropathy, nausea, vomiting, neuropsychiatric complications, shortness of breath, and diplopia. Diplopia is reduced visual acuity and abnormal color vision. Then there's arsenic. While it's mainly used in alloys of lead, it poses a severe risk to human health in high doses. You can experience abdominal pain, sore throat, shortness of breath, chest pain, red and swollen skin, abnormal heart rhythm, and other uncomfortable symptoms. As it's a carcinogen, it can even cause cancer. Lead is no better, to be fair. Lead is a highly poisonous metal that can affect nearly every organ and system in the body. Airborne levels of 100 mg per cubic meter pose an immediate danger to health and life. Number 14. Asbestos Out of all the possibly dangerous natural minerals, asbestos is the one we've probably made the most mistakes with. This mineral has so many desirable properties, like heat resistance, that we thought putting it in pretty much everything from firefighter uniforms to building materials was a good idea. It was too late when we learned that it could seriously harm our health. We had already mass-produced many goods with it. We've been in damage control mode ever since. There are six different types of asbestos, all of which have long, thin, fibrous crystals. Breathing these in can result in severe lung conditions like lung cancer, mesothelioma, and asbestosis. But we shouldn't feel bad about how often we used it before we learned it was dangerous. I mean, there are historical records of it being used as far back as the Stone Age. At least we know better now. Well, we mostly know better. Developing countries still use asbestos as a building material, and Russia remains a top producer. It's still legal in many countries. However, the use of asbestos has been banned in 60 countries to date. Number 13. Orpiment Stumble across orpiment and you'll think you've struck gold. But before you get too excited, orpiment just looks like gold. It's bright yellow to bright orange in color. Sometimes it's also brown. However, this photosensitive mineral only remains a beautiful shade of yellow for a short amount of time. Once exposed to light, it becomes dull and produces a white, powdery film. Orpiment is an arsenic sulfide mineral, and that tells you everything you need to know. It's toxic. While it was once used in medicine and artwork, learning about its toxicity soon put a stop to that. In saying that, it is still used today. It can be used in oil cloth, photo conductors, pigments, and fireworks. The tanning industry also uses it to remove hair from hides. More recently, some genius decided it would make a fantastic bookend. The UK Office for Product Safety and Standards recalled 40 pieces sold by TJ Maxx because it was so toxic. Orpiment contains a great deal of arsenic, which, as we know, is toxic. At a minimum, mineral experts recommend washing your hands after handling orpiment. When orpiment interacts with water, it produces arsine and arsenic acid. These are what make orpiment so toxic. If consumed, it can cause corrosive damage in the digestive system and other uncomfortable symptoms like stomach aches, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, and shortness of breath. Number 12. Galena Galena, also known as lead glance, is an essential source of silver and an important ore of lead. This natural form of lead sulfide is one of the most abundant sulfide minerals and has been used since ancient times. That's because it's so easy to melt. You can smelt lead from Galena with a standard wood fire. 
That wouldn't be possible with most other minerals. It was also used in early wireless communication systems. As of 2021, Australia is the leading lead producer, and can you believe that most of it is extracted as galena? That's how special this mineral is. But that's not to say you should handle it willy-nilly. You know where I'm going with this, don't you? Galena is toxic to ingest or inhale. This is because of its high lead content. In saying that, you can handle it reasonably safely as long as there's no lead dust and you only have a small sample. You probably won't get sick just by touching this mineral, but don't forget to wash your hands, just in case. Number 11. Torbernite If you love pretty things, you're gonna love torbernite. This common mineral, also called chalcolite, is a beautiful, vibrant shade of green. But before you add a chunk of torbernite to your shopping cart, it's important to be aware of what this mineral really is. It's a radioactive, hydrated green copper uranyl phosphate. Forget all the other words if you must, but focus on the word radioactive. Yeah, proceed with caution. This mineral is radioactive. Whereas in the front of it, totally different shape. Which means it's not really something you can just have out on display in your family home. Most mineral experts encourage owners to keep them in airtight containers and not to inhale any dust from them. Torbernite releases radon naturally, and prolonged exposure can present a risk of lung cancer. It's amazing to believe that you can legally purchase torbernite and keep something radioactive in your home, but you can. If you have a particularly beautiful piece, put it in a glass box away from where you enjoy everyday activities. The risk is probably minimal, but why take the risk if you don't have to? Number 10. Area Night We've all heard horror stories about asbestos, but how many horror stories have you heard about area night? It might not make headline news as often, but this naturally occurring fibrous mineral is not really all that much better. Some of its properties are similar to those of asbestos, yet the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency does not regulate arianite. There are also no occupational exposure limits for it. But if you check out the International Agency for Research on Cancer, you'll realize there should be exposure limits. It's listed as a Group 1 carcinogen. This mineral can be linked to mesothelioma. Yeah, arianite is not great at all. This splintery white mineral is believed to be linked to abnormal rates of mesothelioma in three Turkish villages. The, the faces of, of the tough here. Respirable arianite fibers were detected in air samples from these villages, and lung tissue samples from unwell villagers diagnosed with mesothelioma also contained them. If that's not disturbing enough, then knowing that arianite fibers have been detected in road dust samples in the United States will definitely disturb you. This means that residents around Nevada may be exposed to these fibers in the ambient air. As innocent as this fibrous mineral looks, I would give it a wide berth. Number 9. Hydroxyapatite Hydroxyapatite is one of those naturally occurring minerals that could be dangerous, but also isn't. It's considered safe in concentrations of up to 10% in toothpaste and up to 0.465% in mouthwash. Yet some studies find that hydroxyapatite damages kidney tissue in animal studies. So I guess you have to form your own opinion about whether you use products containing it or not. Pure hydroxyapatite in powder form is white, but can also be brown, yellow, or white. Interestingly, up to 70% of the weight of our human bones is a modified form of this mineral. We just refer to it as a bone mineral. It's also the main mineral of our dental enamel and dentin. But that's not to say it's always good. Hydroxyapatite crystals have been found in breast tumors and pineal gland calcifications. As far as uses for hydroxyapatite go, it's prevalent in the dental industry. Some studies show that it might be useful in countering hypersensitivity, especially after teeth bleaching. It might also prove helpful for caries prevention. But of course, there are safety concerns. Otherwise, we wouldn't be talking about it, now would we? 
the scientific community on consumer safety within the European Commission was wondering whether it was safe when used in dermal and oral cosmetic products. They said they couldn't conclude on its safety, but they did say that it was safe at specific concentrations. Number 8. Chrysotyl Asbestos We refer to all types of asbestos as just asbestos, but there's value in getting to know the ins and outs of each type. Chrysotile is a magnesium hydrated silicate that's white with curly fibers from serpentine rocks. We refer to it as white asbestos. It's one of the most widely used types of asbestos in the world and has always been the one we have mined the most of. When asbestos mining peaked in 1979, 90% of all asbestos mined was white. We used it in many textiles and building materials like vinyl tiles, roofing, cement, drywall, and even brake pads. It was that wonder material that everyone loved. It was seen as being strong, flexible, heat resistant, and ideal for its electrical and acoustic properties. But just like delicious candy, everything good ends up being bad. White asbestos ended up being classed as a carcinogen. If you breathe in the fibers, you can be at risk of lung-related disorders like lung cancer, mesothelioma, and asbestosis. By the end of 2019, at least 30,000 people had been diagnosed with mesothelioma, but more than 100,000 people annually from asbestos-related diseases as a whole. The problem is that exposing yourself to chrysotile asbestos today doesn't mean you'll get an illness next week and that you can get on top of it early. Asbestos-related cancer or illnesses can take up to 20 years and even 40 years to develop. Number 7. Phenocyte Is phenocyte a stone-cold killer? Pardon the pun. It looks innocent enough, but this milky or transparent material contains beryllium. Even though beryllium is one of the smallest chemical elements, it sure is mighty, and phenocyte contains huge amounts of it. Beryllium has been known to cause lung inflammatory diseases and even lung cancer. Beryllium is a silver-white metal that's often used with copper and nickel. It's classed as a carcinogen and is highly toxic as a result. Those who are exposed to it on a daily basis are at risk of lung cancer. But despite its risks, it's still a popular element. It's one of the lightest metals with one of the highest melting points. Its elasticity is also about a third greater than steel. So it's basically the beryllium content that should make you handle phenocyte with care. Outside of people desiring this element, you might be drawn to phenocyte for more alternative reasons. For example, people like it because of its apparent vibration, frequency, and high energy. It supposedly stimulates the light body by radiating clear and pure light. Some people even believe phenocyte brings you to higher consciousness. But, I mean, if you like rocks, you might just have it on display because it's pretty. Number 6. Quartz Out of all the minerals you know of, quartz is probably one you are most familiar with. It features silicon and oxygen and is the most abundant mineral within the Earth's crust. It's plentiful in most parts of the world and forms in all temperatures. It doesn't even care where it forms. It'll grow in sedimentary, igneous, and metamorphic rocks. You name it, and it'll grow there. Alongside being one of the most abundant minerals, quartz is also one of the most useful. It's often used to make glass and fiberglass, and it's even used as a cutting edge in surgical tools and was used in knife blades, scrapers, and arrowheads in early history. But quartz is not without its dangers. In recent months, news outlets have reported that demand for quartz countertops has increased worker exposure to silica dust. This chemical compound causes lung damage. Silica and quartz even have their own hazard sheet. It's described as an odorless, colorless, white, or red crystalline solid used in ceramics, glass, and silica-containing products. The hazardous substance sheet said it can irritate your eyes and nose while also putting you at risk of silicosis. This may put you at risk of tuberculosis and can even cause... Number 5. 
Fluorite. Fluorite, also known as fluor spar, is an industrial mineral made of calcium and fluorine. It can be found in veins by hydrothermal processes in various pretty colors like yellow, green, purple, colorless, black, red, and blue. While you might mine for fluorite just to put it on display in your home, it's also quite a helpful mineral. It's used in many chemical, ceramic, scientific, and engineering processes. Particularly impressive specimens are normally cut into gems. Ceramic grade fluorite is often used for ceramics, enamelware, and specialty glass, while metallurgic grade fluorite can be used to produce steel, iron, and various metals. It can also be used in cameras, microscopes, and telescopes. It's genuinely quite versatile. But, of course, it's also somewhat dangerous. Elemental fluorine above 25 ppm is considered highly toxic. It can actually cause severe irritation and damage to the eyes, liver, kidneys, lungs, gastric intestinal system, and respiratory tract. It hasn't caused severe physical harm or that we know of. It's most toxic as a gas. You won't get sick from holding fluoride gems or wearing jewelry with them in it. Number 4. Pyrite Pyrite is a mineral with a beautiful metallic luster. It's the most common sulfide mineral with a chemical composition of iron sulfide. This beautiful mineral typically only forms in small quantities, but it can be found in sedimentary, igneous, and metamorphic rocks around the world. While you might know it as pyrite, it also goes by another common name, fool's gold. It got that name because of its shininess and coloring. Its gold-like luster caused it to be mistaken for gold by inexperienced miners. These are really, really, really cool. If you find this fool's gold, you might also find gold, so it can be worth mining in areas where pyrite is present. Because it's an iron sulfide mineral, it's not something you want to be ingesting, so if you own a few pieces, don't put them near your mouth. It's also believed that pyrite can release small quantities of arsenic as it oxidizes with time. Sometimes you can buy candles decorated with pyrite. While tempting to let them burn with the pyrite on top, you'll want to remove this decoration before you light your candle. The heat combined with the sulfur within pyrite can create sulfur dioxide gas. This gas is highly toxic. Number 3. Crocoit Crocoit is such a strange looking mineral that you can't help but want to own one. It almost looks like a hedgehog with its pointy spikes. This mineral features lead chromate and is most likely to be found in Australia. However, it can also be found in Brazil, South Africa, and Brazil. Coming across crocoit is cause for excitement. It's quite rare because it needs very specific conditions to form. It's probably a good thing that you don't encounter it often, though, because, well, it's toxic. After all, it contains lead and chromium. Both can be hazardous to your health. Pain, whole body fatigue, appetite loss, behavioral problems, development problems, and gastrointestinal discomfort. If left untreated, you can also lose your life. Chromium isn't much better, to be fair. Chromium toxicity can result in gastrointestinal irritation, vertigo, fever, cramps, breathing problems, nausea, and vomiting. If you plan to handle crocoit, do so carefully, since those punk rocker spikes can break easily. But you likely won't experience any health complications from crocoit if you don't ingest, inhale, or absorb any dust or small particles. Yeah, that's still gonna be a no from me, dog. Number 2. Malachite Malachite is an interesting-looking copper carbonate hydroxide mineral. It's been mined for thousands of years and has been used for ornamental purposes and as a gemstone. Using malachite, the stone of transformation. It was also used as a mineral pigment for green paint and for decorations in the malachite room in the Hermitage Museum. Even the base of the FIFA World Cup trophy features not one, but two layers of malachite. So it's definitely not all bad, but it's also not all good. You have to remember that malachite features copper carbonate. 
if you inhale, absorb, or ingest any dust from this mineral, you might be at risk of endocrine and central nervous system damage. Even just handling any unpolished specimens with fine dust particles is kinda risky. Basically, it's a good idea not to drink or eat from any vessels made out of malachite. Even if they are polished and appear finished, you just never know if there are any dust particles you can't see. Number 1. Zircon Now, we're not saying that you have to get rid of any jewelry containing zircon, but it's worth being aware that this mineral is kind of radioactive. Like, not full-blown radioactive, but at least somewhat. Sometimes, natural processes are what contribute to the small amount of radiation this mineral has. Zircon comes from silicate melts and can be found colorless, red, green, blue, brown, and yellow golden. Light-colored zircons are often called jargoon, while yellow, orange, and red ones are referred to as hyacinth, like the flower. Zircon is commonly found in the Earth's crust in igneous rocks, metamorphic rocks, and sedimentary rocks. Most of the time, they're about 0.1 to 0.3 millimeters, but they can also grow up to several centimeters. Now, you might think that being radioactive means that this mineral isn't really useful for anything, but it is. Its radiation levels are so low that companies use them in many different domestic and industrial products. They can feature in ceramic tiles for increased resilience and are even put into biomedical and dental implants. As scary as it sounds to have bathroom tiles featuring radioactive materials, you don't need to worry. Experts say it poses no risk to public health. In saying that, it's worth taking care if you work with zircon every day in manufacturing. There are guidelines published online on the health and safety measures that you should take to keep yourself safe. See, you should have just listened to your kindergarten teacher when they told you to keep your hands to yourself. Sometimes it's in your best interests. The next time you go to reach for a foreign stone, think about what you've just learned. Have you ever encountered any of these dangerous minerals in person? What did you do when you found them? Kept your distance, I hope. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.